Welcome, powerful souls, to your 2024 energy forecast. And we're going to be looking at the overall energy for the entire year for love, money, and career. And then we're going to split out the year into three four-month increments. We're going to be looking at the top blessing for each of those periods, plus what top thing to be aware of. But first, if you're enjoying the content of my channel, make sure to hit that like button by giving me a thumbs up. That tells me that you like the content content and you'd like to see more of it. You can also hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell. If you select the all option, you'll be notified immediately when I put out new content and also be notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. I appreciate all the love and all the support and you can be part of the love tsunami helping send that Zen love out to the world by liking and sharing my videos, commenting on my videos, subscribing to my channel, and even becoming one of my YouTube channel members. If any of those inspire you, please know that I am sincerely grateful. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for a personal reading, I do offer those and past life readings. And it's not too late to get them at 50% off until the end of 2023. All that information is listed down in the description box of the video. Alrighty, let's get into your energy forecast for 2024. All right, Sagittarius, this is your 2024 energy reading. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know about what's coming your way. We're going to start off with love to see the overall energy for love, and we're going to be using the Journey of Love Oracle. So let's take a look here and get the overall for love, and we'll get into money and life, purpose, and career as well so let's take a look here for our sagittarius what do you want them to know about love 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 all right they want this one right here for 2024 and you've got towering magnificence card number 30. i'm just gonna zero in here so you can see the beauty of this card here you can see all of these all these people all these beings here Sorry, that was card 30, so we'll put this up over here. And let's see what that brings in here for you. So, Towering Magnificence, you are entering the presence of the truly great and sublime divinity in 2024. It is without form, yet exists within all forms. It is humbling and yet asks nothing of you. It just is, and when we encounter it, we are moved beyond words, beyond mind, and into realms of the heart that we may never have experienced before. Wow. So it takes a brave soul to meet the towering majesty of divine presence. It could be a terrifying experience as limitations, preconceived notions, and identities crumble in the wake of its light. You're being brought to this place out of love because you're ready. Your soul has been craving connection to something so much larger than itself to find something worthy to which it can devote itself entirely. This greatness is becoming available to you now to be witness to the extent that is helpful so that you may find the greater purpose of service which your heart craves. You are ready. This oracle brings you comfort that your inner path, your opening up to direct experience of the Divine Presence, is happening now in 2024, according to Divine Timing and Grace. This is also confirmation that you are connecting with your spiritual guidance more consciously now, and that any sense of self that appears to be falling away from you now is because your divinity has outgrown it and a new awareness is taking its place. Wow. So for love, there is this great expansiveness of self-love connecting to divine love inward and upward to that which is eternal and unconditional rather than, you know, this conditional limiting um, love, which is perfect because this is what fills you up. It doesn't mean that you stop desiring outside love. You just stop needing it and you want it and you feel fulfillment from inside out. It's like the, you become this chalice, this ace of cups where you're the Holy Grail. You um, allow 
the love from above to come in and fill you up and then it overflows out to the world and anything anyone gives you is above and beyond extra so there's this fullness of love this love that like i said you have never felt this in the in this realm in this lifetime this amount of love and it's a pure solid stable eternal unconditional love that you're you're feeling and i love that <laughs> beautiful and then let's move into money and abundance and for that we're going to use the money and law of attraction cards from the hickses so let's take a look here what does spirit and creator want you to know all right you get two all right so your first one is i can create both money and the time to enjoy it card 57 beautiful and that says on the back here many of you tell us that you are so busy making your money that you do not have time to enjoy it for when you rely on your action to create often you're too tired to enjoy your creation once you not only understand the power of your thought but deliberately direct this powerful tool in the direction of things that you desire then you will discover that the action part of your life is the way you enjoy what you have created through your thought beautiful so you are going to have this taking time looking at how you invest you know your time and energy in that um, if you're always looking for more 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 and you're waiting i will celebrate when you'll never celebrate because um, but you're going to, you know, between here and there, you're going to extend it and extend it and extend it. Then you're going to find you're on the other side going, oops, I never did, you know, enjoy all that. <laughs> and so I like this, uh, taking the time to enjoy it. Wow. And you've got two yellow cards. And you have card number one, my life story and the law of attraction coming in here. And that says each and every component that makes up your life experience is drawn to you by the powerful law of attraction's response to the thoughts you think and the story you tell about your life. Your money and financial assets, your body's state of wellness, clarity, flexibility, size and shape, your work environment, how you're treated, work satisfaction and rewards, indeed the very happiness of your life experience in general. It's all happening because of the story that you tell this the one here this reminds me of the ace of wands which does tell us whatever we focus our energy um, we attract and it and it uh, we draw it towards us right so if i focus on what i feel is missing in my life or that i hate or i fear i will draw that in or repel it out of my life you know if i fear something um you know will not come into my life i will actually repel it and keep it out because what i'm focusing on i'm drawing to me in whatever way i'm i'm focusing it if i focus on gratitude and joy and and laughter and you know then i draw in more of that i'm telling the universe whatever i'm focusing on i'm telling the universe i want more of if i focus on lack i get it if i focus on abundance i get it and that is the power that comes in here including time i don't have time well you won't have time but if you say i will have time thank you for the time to enjoy thank you for the love that's coming in thank you for my work and my career and my life purpose uh, whatever we focus on does grow and expand i love that and then career life purpose we're going to pull from the cosmic journey oracle Let's see what spirit wants you to know about. Okay. I feel like it's this one right here. For 2024, what do they want you to know about life purpose? You got Galactic Grandmother. Card number five. It's a special card for the back. It represents the um, archetype of grandmother. So we'll take a look here. It's interesting. It's like... Um, it, there's, you know, and they, and they talk about things grandfathered, grandfathered in. It's stuff that has existed that's being honored and kept going. And there's this energy here of that, but also the appreciation. This mother, grandmother energy is they have such a strong connection to their grandchildren um, because it's like this 
fruition type of feel that comes in. Something that's been being worked on for so long is finally feeling like it's coming to fruition and having movement happen here. Let's see what this brings in. This is Mother Nature Energy Wisdom, stern but loving grandparent. The galactic grandmother is providing you her blessing of love and joy. She wants only what's best for you, but she will smack you over the head and set you straight if you veered off. <laughs> She's a stern but loving Bubba, and your galactic grandmother isn't afraid to call you out on your BS. <laughs> grandmother is the essence of Pachamama, the earth, Mother Nature. Come sit for a bit of cake and tea. She's here to share with you the timeless wisdom of stories, values, and guidance passed down from the ages. I love it. Potential questions you can ask the galactic grandmother. Can you share a little bit of your wisdom needed now? <laughs> uh, what is my role in serving the earth at this time? I like that around your career and life purpose. How can I be more in alignment with Mother Nature? You can ask her, can you tell me a story? You can ask her, where do I belong? And she will give you guidance and all of that showing in this life purpose. And I feel like that is what she was talking about here with this grandfathering, grandmothering in that you have some old dreams that you did abandon. You did, did veer off course for the sake of sacrificing for everyone else, but I feel like she's smacking you upside your head to reactivate this passion towards your dreams and that you get to connect to this inner love and this abundance. This It's time here for you to focus in on your dreams. What did you want to do? It's never too late. You know, if you ever read the story of... Um, of um well my my brain just went um blank she did you can heal yourself um she created oh louise hay she so i said she created hay house well hay is her last name so louise hay she has an amazing story that she it was in her late 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s you know i think i think she lived that long it she that's where her life just really came to fruition because she was living in stepping out to live her dream so check that out all right, and then we're going to check in here. I'm going to use these Ancestral Path Tarot to find the blessings of the three four-month periods um, for 2024. So we're going to do that first here. So um, first, of course, we've got January through April. All right, so for January through April. What do you want for January through April? All right, I feel like we have our cards here. We've got... January through April, and we have May through August, and we have September through December. Okay. And then I'm going to use this beautiful deck. I will probably mispronounce it, so I'm just going to show you here. The Sambucas, maybe? Could be. <laughs> um, but we're going to use this for the clarification on what else, what are the top things that they want you to know um, about uh, these three months too. So we're probably going to have three cards for each. So for the first period here, we've got one, two, and three. We've got one, two, and this one here, three. And we've got one, two, whoops. No cheating, don't look at that. <laughs> and then number three. <laughs> it's okay if you saw it. All right, so let's take a look here. So we've got January through April, the blessing coming in. Wow, boom, talk about blessings so you start off your first four months with a bang the sun card is one of the most beneficial and abundant uh cards in the entire deck the leo energy so sun sign i mean um fire sign energy and um this is about you know they have the inner child getting back to that you know inner child of what it is that would have made your life you know, like the dream of the child that you let go, this thing that's coming back that is, um, you know, the inspiration of your life here. So you had this already happening in the first four months where the spark that we were talking about with this Ace of Wands, it just feels like, 
boom, I'm ready. I'm not holding back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know, very fire sign energy that which you are right. And you're like, okay, I want to step forward to get out into this. I'm not afraid to shine. I'm not afraid to get out into it. And the sun does not ask permission to shine. They do. And if someone can't handle the heat or the brightness, they could put on shade, sunscreen or get in the shade. But this is about you really really embracing this uh you know you don't have to ask me twice i will live my dream and, and make these changes so i love that so let's see what else they want you to know about this period here yeah Eight of Coins, Eight of Pentacles is that it's like the movement from apprentice to master. It is the movement of having this changes that unfold in the outside world being the pentacles. Um, but the, you know, it's um, this flow. Things are starting to turn in the outside world because of the actions that you've taken. You, you get it happening almost immediately. There has this beautiful flow of the changes of benefits of, of this victory of abundance that flows in right away within the first four months. So I feel like you jump on it in the first month and then second, third, fourth month just continues to grow and grow and more and more and more. It's just this escalation and elevation in positive ways of things unfolding in the outside world. Yeah. In the world, as I just said, beautiful last card in the major arcana, which is all about ending of old cycles, beginning of new adventures. So we are putting an end to the old ways and you are heading off in these journeys. So this is a year of making significant changes and you start off by making these in, of course, in the first uh, four months and it is great because it's feels like an adventure with a lot less limitations than you had before the full card which is the first card that comes after this because you're coming back to the beginning of the soul's journey through life that you're taking on this new this new direction this new feeling of not trying to meet up to everyone else's expectations you know you're really focusing in on on your own so i love that and then you have the nine of cups. Yeah, wishes come true, dreams come true. So this is definitely a time here where you're like, what is my dream? Returning to my dream. And this is them reiterating and saying you're taking step towards it. You're getting rid of the old ways of doing things. You definitely are making this life change in this first four months. Whatever area of this life is, if it is career, which I feel for majority of you, it's I want to live my life purpose. I don't want to exist anymore. I want to live my dream. And that's what I feel like um, you're doing here in this first four months. And then we look into the next four months, which are May through August. <laughs> yeah, Victory another major arcana you got major arcana is a significant change in your life the sun the chariot also major arcana which is this movement 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 victory also power of choices that are being made here and i feel like you're just you realize when you're living your dream there never is failure there's just you're making mental emotional energetic and physical choices in response to what's happening and you're stepping into your power during these four months, realizing it's not the outside things that determine how the, all those things impact you, because then you're at the whim. You feel like a puppet that when that happens, this is how I'm supposed to feel. This is the story of what it means. This is where I'm investing my energy. And here's where I take my physical action, blah, blah, blah. And we are afraid of what comes next because that determines all of that stuff for us and we feel like life is happening to us but when you step into this power of choice realizing you're the one that chooses the story the emotions the energy the physical actions that yeah it doesn't feel like sometimes we're choosing because we've been given a lot of supposed to's and shoulds and need to's in our past life opinion about all those things what they're supposed to mean and do and all that but you get to question is that really what story I want to put to that? Is that really the emotion I want to feel? Is that really where I want to invest my energy? Is that really the action I want to take? And you are stepping into your power here, which allows you to not worry about it. I think it was Thomas Edison or someone, one of the inventors where whoever invented the light bulb, 
people were like, oh, you failed a thousand times. He goes, no, I found a thousand times that successfully did not work that allowed me to find the one that did. And it was there. They deciding what all that stuff meant that kept them going, kept them towards victory. So I like that. Let's see what else they have here for you. Yeah. You know? Well, Wheel of Fortune, so very fortunate where even in these four months with what's unfolding here, even your human is on board. It's the tune of For You, the Four tune. So very much abundance unfolding here in this um, four-month period here. And you've got the Ace of Swords. Yep, new ideas, new creation, clarity coming in here too of what you're wanting to do. You have endings and new beginnings with the Ten and the Ace here, which is you choosing, like you are looking at things, making different choices. More clarity coming, you're altering things. Ultimately, though, you're during this four-month period, your human is ecstatic because sometimes the human doesn't really... Uh, support the everything that happens in life is for you but in this case uh, with the wheel of fortune the tune of for you they do uh, and they're on board with whatever's unfolding here so i'm throwing this rock around and you have the hanged man yeah seeing things from a different perspective wow you got three major arcana here and an ace in these four months so this is a time of clarity and movement seeing things seeing clear things clearly movement on things victory on things so i feel like there's this huge evolution but it's not um, and it's definitely celebrating growth and learning through different things not looking at anything as a failure but as a learning opportunity and if this didn't work then i'm trying this and i'm doing this but there's victory wheel of fortune through it all so you're feeling very full and fortunate as you're as you're going through these four months wow i love it and then the last four months you have september through december yeah you got the four of wands which is uh celebrations gatherings uh very stable balanced energy so i love this it's like you just start off with this huge change you have all this abundance you have this fullness this thing coming in and here's you're celebrating your year you're celebrating all the this uh abundance and the success and this movement forward and this feeling like you're living instead of existing that's coming in here so very positive uh energy coming in here let's see what else they want you to know about this yeah balanced <laughs> king of cups they roll over emotion with the queen but all the kings are given a second portion of air which is mind so the king of cups helps balance the heart and the mind and so your last four months feel like not that the things are like going downward or leveled off just it feels like a balanced energy where so much activity the first eight months it feels like the last four months you get used to the activity you balance things out you streamline things you delegate whatever it may be but you have this balanced energy where you're not so feeling so active and and um like go 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 you feel like i'm i go and i rest i go and i rest i go and i rest very healthy balanced energy and balance temperance balancing allowing things to unfold and uh, being patient with how things are unfolding again very balanced energy what's this one well and then get the king of pentacles yeah so we definitely have abundance coming in here king of pentacles is one of the most um you know beneficial and abundant especially coin and money and things in the outside world the fruition that's coming in here so you definitely have oh yeah um they're just reminding me you know this is you taking the time to enjoy your fruition that you've had here so this is the last four months of the year you're like you know what I have worked my booty off all year long, you know, up these eight months. And so these last four months, you're allowing yourself time to enjoy the benefits. This is where the balancing of things comes in here for you. So what a year. I feel like you are definitely changing directions. 
to be in more in alignment with your your dreams you're experiencing love at levels that you haven't ever experienced it before inward and upward which allows you to appreciate the outside love and then definitely abundance coming in here and you're taking the time to enjoy it though instead of wearing yourself out so what a wonderful year that you have coming in here i love this for you <laughs> Alrighty. well that's what they want you to know right now for the energies of 2024 but every week i do have a pick a card uh, that we put out and different times i throw out different types of readings to keep us in the loop on what energies are currently going on and having specifics you know this is the big picture overview so you can check those out as we come in there and as you are going throughout this beautiful amazing journey remember every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things our creator and of course i love you too so until we see each other again much love to you hang in there and happy new year you take care